Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing? Um, so I'll be doing a general reading and let's see what Divine Messages comes through today. Hope everyone's doing well. Let's see what they... Okay. Uh, so the message I see here for whoever it resonates for, um, the divine message that's coming in here has to do with divine feminine and it's kind of like saying that Divine Feminines, you have a lot of things that is going on. I feel like Divine Feminines may be doing a lot of multitasking. Um, they, It feels like you need to do this. Like I need to do this in order to get here. Or I need to do this because it's a responsibility I have. Um, it's just showing here that it's understandable if you have a lot of um, different tasks at hand that you're doing at, at this time. But it's also saying that you need to really take care of yourself because uh, don't feel like, oh, I can't believe like things are not changing. Like I'm going in the same routine day by day or um, it's starting to become very exhausting for me. Um, it's it's kind of like over not to overlook things, but kind of like reevaluate. See what works for you. See th things that may be a little bit more stressful or may um, be more time consuming. Something about like reevaluating how you're doing things now. Um, like say, for instance, like uh, say if you're doing like you're cooking um, dinner, it takes a lot of time and you're thinking, oh, I don't have time to do um, something else because Dinner always takes a huge amount of time. So um, how can you like manage your time so that things are more balanced? So maybe do um, a little bit food preparation, something that can be uh, useful for the entire week. Like maybe like have things already like vegetables already chopped up, ready to go. It's just sitting in the fridge. And then whenever you decide to prepare your meal, you don't have to worry about, you know, peeling the onions or cutting, um, you know, certain vegetables or anything like that. So that's that's an example I'm giving. But having something um, done a little bit in a different way so that you're able to manage the time that you have. Like, I feel like some divine feminists may feel a little bit overwhelmed with there's so much things to do and so little time to do it in. Um, it's showing here that because there's a lot of things that divine feminine is focusing on, whether it be goals, whether it be responsibilities, daily routines, it's starting to be a little bit... Um, it can get a little bit uh, overwhelming sometimes or uh, even exhausting. So it's just saying to reevaluate, see things, maybe even like jot things down, see how you can reorganize yourself um, so that you're still able to carry on those tasks, but maybe trying a different method, a different way of trying to complete a certain task. Um, because I feel whatever Divine Feminine is doing, these are important things like they are important to you and it's just a matter of like how to do it and how to balance balance kind of like work life responsibility time that sort of thing and your overall well-being your overall well-being so it is important to um to listen to yourself to feel what you need to feel if you feel like there's something that's um, not in balance. Um, maybe have a look in and ask yourself, so what area of my life do I need to work on a bit to have a little bit more of a better flow, a better routine or something that's a little bit more of ease rather than 
having things all like um if there's a lot of things to do it can be overwhelming so it's just like how to do those tasks in a different way so try to find um other ways of doing it okay so that's one of the things it's showing here and it's showing here that once you figure it out, once you figure out what works best, and you will be surprised. I feel like you will be surprised that, wow, why didn't I do this sooner? Or why didn't I try doing things this way before? Um, because it will feel a little bit more, um, a better flow. It will be a little bit more at ease rather than feeling a lot of um, overwhelming feelings because there's a lot of things to do. But how to like manage manage your time or how to balance things out. It's not only about time, but it's also about balancing uh, different things at the different things at a certain um, like your daily task. But it's going to bring you happiness because it once you release that um, tension, like that overwhelming feeling, you will be more at peace and you will you will be more happy. There's a little bit more um, freedom here. I feel like you will ha you will find that you will have more time for yourself once you have that balance, once you've created that balance. So balance is really important in this reading for Divine Feminine. It's showing that some Divine Feminines still need to work on that. Um, so it's like, Work, life balance, responsibilities, energies, also like um, spiritual um, time for everything. Every Everything has its time. Everything has its place. A little bit of structure um, when it comes to... It feels like don't, over, don't overlook things. Try not to overlook things. There are some stuff that needs to be looked at a little bit, um, a little bit further. It's going to create a better um, environment, atmosphere for yourself. You're going to feel a little bit more uh, relaxed. That's what I feel. It's like when you come home, when you come home, you'll feel good. Like you'll feel like everything is, is as it should be. Like you will feel that everything is working out smoothly. Um, I feel like it. Some divine feminines may feel a little bit irritated at times. Um, that will be released once this balance is like restored in your own, in your own uh, way of living. So just take what it resonates uh, as it resonates, because it's showing here it, it is happening to with some divine feminines here. So um, another thing I see here. There will be some individuals who may be a little bit, um, they have a little bit of a negative tone. Uh, they may appear, they may appear like they are supporting you or they may appear as they, as if they are, um, giving genuine advice or they are talking. It feels like they, they seem to be very friendly, but, um, they don't really mean what they say. So it's kind of like what they say. It's, it's like they're saying something else indirectly. So um, it, can, it, it can come across as either sarcasm or it could be like something that has double meaning. Um, because what they're saying is something that is not um, beneficial for Divine Feminine. It's kind of like... And I feel like it's coming in a, in a place from like the other individuals coming from a place of um, they may, I don't want to say jealousy. It feels like more a um, little bit of intimidation kind of that uh, Divine Feminine is doing well and um they just have to they just have to say something about something they're trying to look for something um within the divine feminine that um that they can pick on like it's kind of like divine feminine has all these good things going for them and they want to find that one thing that 
they know can um can kind of like trigger divine feminine so that's it's kind of like oh you have all this your life is going well you know your your job your home your whatever the case may be um you look good um but too bad you're you know too bad you're single like too bad no. I'm so sorry that you're you're single right now like something like that like yeah i feel like it they are trying to show that they are impressed and proud of all the things that divine feminine is doing but there's this one thing that they may point out and it's not with um good intentions it's it's kind of to poke at divine feminine divine feminine will not see it see it or notice it at first but um but there is always that intuitive knowing that there's something off here. Um, it's showing that divine feminine is protected by, by divine, by God. There is, um, there will be guidance for divine feminine to move into a, a clear direction. And some things will be restored uh, within the divine feminine's life in terms of blessings. Um, there are some things that were put on hold because of circumstances, because um, it was not the right time. So divine timing um, is very important in this reading. So I see here that there are some blessings that will come into divine feminine's life, some having to do with love. Um, but I feel like there's a lot of things having to do with divine feminine's um, inner strengths. So things that the divine feminine has within her, I feel like it could have been overlooked in the past, but they are going to start to come through. So blessings within the divine feminine that will be um, kind of like brought to light and it's going to bring about better things within the divine feminine's uh, life. So I see there's good things that will be coming towards divine feminine. That is um, something that has always been with divine feminine, but it's just that um, the timing Divine timing need to, it it has to do with divine timing and it has to do with the balance. So once that balance is completely restored um, and divine feminine is at ease, higher vibration, she will draw in those blessings that um, was meant for, for her or him. Just take it as it resonates. So that's the reading for today. I hope you like this divine message. And if you like my uh, readings, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.